Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the author of the Book of Love, the standard literature of Triple Grace. You can get this book at Amazon.com. A link is in the description box below. Today our topic is, are you called? The follow-up from yesterday's video. I want to remind you first before we start that we have our annual Triple Grace Conference from the 9th to the 15th of December 2019 in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And if you want to take part as a leader, then please follow the link in the first pin comment and register as an elder, a state or national leader. Do not forget a state leader get free accommodation at our conference and a national leader will receive free flights and free accommodations. So sign up now to become a leader and join us in Phnom Penh for the conference with great speakers, meet up, a lot of information and many good ideas that will help you in your own society of the rose. Please come and meet us. I'm happy to see you all there. Thank you. Another word that I want to say about baby Grace, it's healing very well after the surgery and the family is thanking all who are helping and I hope more people will come forth and assist the family of baby Grace. I thank you for all your help. Go to our Patreon page and there you will find a place dedicated to baby Grace and if you want to help just send whatever your heart is telling you or the Holy Spirit is guiding you too. Thank you. Now, let's come to the topic. Are you called? Many people say they are called. But are you truly called to take your cross and leave your careers and your families even and walk that righteous path, that narrow path to salvation and glory? It's not so easy just to say, oh, we are called and we are the selected people. You have to step out. You have to step out of your old, leave the old behind, bury the past and walk a new path, a new life. Reborn, be born again. That is not just a word that we are using. This is completely a new life, a new way that you walk, where you will come together, share resources, where you support one another, where you overcome your own pride and egoism. And when you say, I love my neighbors as myself, and I love my Father, God Almighty, above all else. This is not just a prayer or a talk. This is a lifestyle. And only if you have that lifestyle, then you are truly called forth. Walk with us that path. Be a called one. Walk with us, out with, with us that path to Mount Zion, to the holy mountain, the mountain not carved by human hands. At the sixth seal, we will all be standing closed and white at that base of that mountain. And there we will be raptured into paradise. And we will be with our God Almighty, our Father, and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, forever and ever. Be a called one. Come out of the world and out of Babylon. Change your life completely. Come together in love, unity and support. Establish societies of the rose in your neighborhood. Gather the people together. Bring as many people to righteousness as possible. Not by preaching and shouting in the streets as some fake people are doing right now and claiming they have the Holy Spirit. Jesus was never shouting in the streets. He was never shouting from the rooftops. No. He was mostly avoiding the crowds if possible. Now, as he said, if you pray to the Father, pray in a secret place. If you now come forth and win souls, then do it to an example. Your own new lifestyle, an example that will attract the people. Not that you hit them with the Bible in the face, what many people are doing now and claiming they are inspired by the Lord. They are very far from the truth. 
You are called ones, as are called ones, you stay humble. You are neither dancing nor shouting and jumping up and down or shouting or doing whatever. You don't do that. Because your heart is filled with the glory of the Father, with his love. And you let this love shine forth into your neighborhood to lift up the needy, the nameless and faceless. But in a way that your left hand does not know what your right hand is doing. Not as a public display, as many people and many movements are doing now. Oh, we are everywhere. Look at us. Look at us. This is not the right way. Then you are like the Pharisees who like to stand in front and who like to be recognized. Do it in your secret ways. Do it in your secret places. Do it as a true follower of the Lord. Become a follower of the path. Walk without the path to the holy mountain. Become somebody who is set apart. Thank you that you have listened to this word today. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow for the next topic. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Have a great day. Maranatha.